Hi everyone, it's Sandra. I am outside with Landon and this is Peekaboo. We are checking in on that feeding where I fed some compost as well as fed them a large uh, cauliflower, that center stalk of a cauliflower and some more onion. Peekaboo seems to be eating a lot of onion these days. So 16 days ago, I started with some beautiful rich compost from our compost pile, added a center stalk from a cauliflower, and the ends and some peels of some onion, all of which had sat outside in the hot sun and gone nice and moldy. Topped it with some more of our rich compost, found a worm. Now let's get back to the present day. So let's take a look and see whether all of that feeding has disappeared. So it was right in the center here. Look at the moisture is great. In fact, look at the compressed castings building up around the feeding zone. And lots of worms still active in the area. I wouldn't say a worm ball, but definitely still in this area. No sign of, well, that broccoli stem was right about here. Where is it? I'm not finding it. That was that big, or a cauliflower. It was a big center stalk. I'm not seeing it. Did the bin get turned around perhaps? Maybe it's over on this side. No, it looks like they've gotten through all of that in 10 days. So these will be hungry worms. So let's get them a feeding. I don't know if you're seeing what I'm seeing, but I'm seeing a bin that looks like it's almost ready to be harvested. Yes, there are some bigger um, needles and whatnot on the top, but you know, there's not a lot for the worms to dig into here. Now, sometimes when you feed you know, pre-composted material like I did. I gave them compost last time. It can mimic looking like vermicompost. So, you know, I think that's important that you also keep track of the time that you uh, put material in so that you kind of know how long it takes the worms to process it. Um, you know, this, you know, the obvious needle bits are not done, but the stuff in between has that uniform texture, unlike what compost looks like. And to me, if I was to sift this, I would say I would get quite a few castings coming out. This is an old head from a hydrangea. I can tell by the little lacy netting of the leaves and the worms are into it but it's not finished. So there is still some diversity of browns in here, but if I was to sift this, and it's actually perfect sifting moisture, I could get a lot of castings out of it. But instead, what I'm going to do is where I'm throwing these big sticks, I'm gonna set up a migration zone, and over the next feeding or two, try to migrate the worms over there and then just do what I did with Cinderella, which is pull out the bulk of this material and start it aging out. All right, peekaboo, let's just stir up your last corner here. Because peekaboo is now outside and not in the greenhouse, we're not getting that crunchy browns on the top anymore, which I think is also helping that the browns break down because they stay moist, they're not going ultra dry and hot on the surface every cycle. All right, so I've got these few sticks I want to put down in the feeding zone. So I'll just turn over right next to that, pull the material out of the way, and make a feeding zone. Something sharp down there. So there's another needle or another stick. And just pull it towards me. There we go. Lots of worms. So I've got the larger chunk material in that corner, which is looking pretty dry actually. So that's a good corner to put a feeding. 
So today's menu, I'm going to give some mostly processed leaf mold. I'm getting some stuff that's nice and moist. And I'm going to give quite a bit because when I pull out all this material, I want there to be enough bedding left over that I can spread out over the entire bottom. So I don't want to pull out all of the bedding and start from scratch. The worms will have this lovely familiar zone that stays in their feeding area that will form the foundation for the bin when I reset it. So there's a little bit of leftovers and sorry peekaboo, that's more onion and even more onion here. Onion, avocado, tea bags, sorry, and it's very moldy. There we go. So got a little bit of diversity there, but not a lot. Just put some pulverized eggshell for calcium as a pH buffer and some grit. And then we're gonna give some more of our mostly processed leaf mold on top so that when we harvest, there's a good start to the next, to the next amount of bedding. So there we go with that. I'm gonna take a little bit of this vermicompost and just mix it in. Again, that will just speed along this feeding. As we know, onions take a bit longer for the worms to get into, but they love them once they're in. So there we go with Peekaboo's feeding. This end is higher. Hopefully that'll be a good reminder to me that this is where we're going to pull out the material next time or maybe the time after. I'll just assess how it looks. And in the meantime, Peekaboo's worms can get busy on that latest feeding. All right, everyone. Bye for now.